Do you really need to buy expensive gear to have better quality audio? Let's find out. Hello, I am Kyle and I am a volunteer, musician, sound guy, media guy sometimes, production person, and everything in between guy, volunteer, at a local church called New Life Cagayan de Oro. I am making this video because I have seen so many churches go online. And the most common thing that I notice is audio quality. Now, this COVID season brought the church to a much bigger platform called the internet. And the internet has unlimited reach. And so, many your people may be able to attend your services during a weekend or even weekdays. And so, I am making this video to show you guys how we made better audio with zero expense. Let me show you a comparison of the iPhone and its built-in mic and the DIY custom-made zero expense lavalier mic that we made for our church. So, here is the video. Hey guys, so I'm here today uh, in our set as a church and um, I'm here to show you the comparison of a regular iPhone mic and this DIY mic that we made for our speaker, for our pastor. So, the mic goes to the phone directly through an app called Voice Recorder. And so, this is a comparison. Sound check 1 2, iPhone mic. Sound check 1 2, lavalier mic. Now, you may hear, uh, siguro, a slight difference because the iPhone right now is at a close distance. But, you will really hear the difference when the iPhone is placed way, way, way back. Dia. With the help of my brother, right there. Forgive the lighting, but here's the comparison. Sound check, one, two. Lavalier mic, sound check, one, two. iPhone mic, sound check, one, two. Hey, sound check. As you can see, there is a much, much significant difference. Lahi rajud, alright? And the most common thing that I see in the internet is the regular phone mic or iPhone mic. Why settle for that when you can make your own with zero expense? Just a little creativity and a little hide and seek skill dia sa churches ninyo to find the, the those old lavalier microphones that I'm going to discuss in this build video coming next. So, you might be wondering, um, yeah, that will work, but how did you guys do that? Coming up is a video of how my brother, Ryan, made the DIY lavalier at church. Are you guys ready? Let's go to church. So, kanin siya, mo na ang... Mic. Ano saan mo na ang wiring mo gamit? Thank you. Kung may piece na ako. Di ba yun mo? Oo, kung ilis na. Kanin na yun? Sa cellphone. Sa cellphone. Sa ako, ano ba? Sa in-ear. Kung may guba. Guba na ako na lang yun. Ah, okay. Ayan, ayun. DIY. DIY lapel. Alright. As you can see, we made use of some old equipment that are naana dito sa church daan. And so, we didn't really spend because we had some old stuff that we can still use. And you may have some too in your church. You just need to find them and seek and you shall find. Come on, let me preach to you right now. Alright. Um, so, in the next clip, I'll be showing you the lavalier mic in action. So the first video will be the iPhone, regular iPhone mic, and then the next cut will be the DIY lavalier. 
our pastor, Pastor Al Tabernero, is preaching this time, and you may you may see a little bit of our setup, which I will be talking about the next video. So watch out. And so, without further ado, the comparison in action. But because it was the guidance and the instruction of the Holy Spirit. Out of that intense obedience of fasting and praying or waiting for the guidance. And now, with everything that you have seen in this video, what can you conclude? Do you need to buy expensive gear to improve your audio? Or you just need creativity and innovation? I would go with the second one creativity and some initiative to just help your church out spend zero amount of money and uh, yeah we do this together strong local churches this is kyle of church on a budget ph and if you like this video click like subscribe to this channel for more videos comment down below if you have some questions and share this to people who may benefit from this video Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Peace.